Blizzards are in the forecast for later this week, but you won't need to be needed a shovel. You'll want to bring a spoon. That's because Miracle Treat Day is this Thursday. Proceeds from Blizzard and Coupon sales at participating Dairy Queens will benefit the Children's Miracle Network, which raises funds for children in hospitals. Calvillan's Kelly Volk heads to Madison, where the local DQ is getting ready for the big day. Miracle Treat Day is back. You may remember last year the event didn't happen because of the pandemic, but area dairy queens still took part in South Dakota Sweet Miracles. No matter the name, Madison Dairy Queen Assistant Manager Karsten Bergerson is ready to serve up lots of sweet treats. At the end of the day, it really doesn't matter how much we sell it. Just I, what I care about most is that if people are enjoying Miracle Treat Day, so we can just have, keep having more in future years. Miracle Treat Day will feel different this year. Usually it's held in the summer, but this time around it's happening on October 28th, which is Thursday. It was moved three months down the road by Dairy Queen because most stores did not have the staff to pull this event off in July. And uh, so they moved it three months in hopes that stores would be able to staff up appropriately to handle an event like this. And also knowing if it's three months later, weather's gonna be inclement or more so than it is in July, and we won't have maybe the massive crowds that we generally have. But we're trying to ignore that fact and press on and act like it's July. And even in another year of change, yeah. the mission to help children and their families is the same. It is not our event at the DQ, it's our event this area. In Madison, Kelly Volk, Kelloland News. Well, blizzard sales for Miracle Treat Day are on Thursday, you can already buy coupons that can be redeemed at a later time. The 2021 South Dakota Children's Miracle Champion is Gabe Gitson, a student at Madison Elementary School. He and his family will share their story at an assembly at the school tomorrow. I think that's, I guess, so important to be in touch with what others go through, to build empathy, to be a part of doing things that are good for the world, becoming part of what's right in the world, and really focusing on how we can help others. Students have also been doing acts of kindness to pay it forward, and like just about everyone else in Madison, they'll enjoy some blizzards on Thursday.